Hey everyone, it's Todd Lyles with Service Excellence Training. And today we're going to talk about the difference between SEO, Search Engine Optimization, and PPC, your pay-per-click marketing campaigns. One of the reasons why I love talking about this is because content creation is one of my favorite things to do. I think creating valuable content that can be utilized to build your brand is huge, and that's search engine optimization. I also think that having a great pay-per-click campaign in the world of electrical, plumbing, and air conditioning is critical, probably one of the most critical points of your demand-based service that you can have. So let me grab my whiteboard and bring it over here. So just to create some clarity, I think it's important to understand the differences between SEO and pay-per-click campaign and what makes one attractive versus the other. So here we go. SEO is search engine optimization and your pay-per-click campaign is, is exactly what it sounds like. It is paying for your popularity. So that is where we're going to define this is basically based off your popularity. So when you think about SEO, think about the traffic that is coming to your website because of the popularity or because of the authority that you have with the search engines, whether that's Google or who, what have you. Now the key thing that you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to do your best to increase your popularity. So if you are a plumbing company, you're probably not going to increase your popularity as a plumbing company by simply talking about just, you know, strictly plumbing repairs because clients are going to want to come to your website and, and are going to want to index it probably by what they're looking for, which in some regards is going to be some do-it-yourself information or maybe how to spot the best plumber. So you're probably going to end up increasing your popularity by building out informative content such as a landing page that might say, the seven ways to get a great plumber to do your repairs in your home. So you want to build this content and if you think about it, Google wants to send people to places that are popular. It makes their search engine more valuable. So if you want to get strong organic placement, you really got to focus on building content that is informative and has some stickiness to it. In other words, it's fun to read, it's easy to read, I want to come back to it. The more articles that you write like that, the more naturally Google is going to start moving you towards the front. Now you also have to be worried about a few other things. One of those things is keywords, obviously. Google is going to be looking inside of the content of your search engine optimization, inside the content of your post, to see if you've actually got some strong keywords. Now, if you want an example of this, I'm going to show that to you now. So here's a recent article that I wrote on Monday, April the 14th, four ways to maintain the ethics of commission-based plumbers and HVAC techs. Now, this is kind of an experiment. Uh, my buddy Steve and I were talking about, can we get this thing to first place placement relatively quickly? So, and I also think it's a great topic. So if we look into here, I'm going to show you some of the keywords that I have put into this system. So here's the article, and obviously some of the keywords are popping out, ethics, commission, plumbers, HVAC, techs. So the keywords are going to be about what's in the body of the message. So as you look through here, you're going to notice that those keywords are popping out fairly quickly through the first paragraph, and then they continue on. What you'll also notice is that the way this is written, it's written in, in short style, which means to say that most paragraphs are less than three sentences long. Try to keep the sentences relatively short, and when it can be indented or when it can be bullet pointed, that's easy for the content reader so they can get through it quickly. Now, it's not just enough to write it into the body of the content, which you need to, you also need to have a way in which you can tell Google these are the keywords that you want them to pay attention to. Now, if you're utilizing a WordPress site, good for you, that's fantastic. I'm showing you the back end of our WordPress site here, and if you'll take a look, here is the article. Tags are very important. Tags are part of the, the message 
that can also be searched and tags can be just as important to keywords as keywords are. Now, if you're curious what the difference is, uh, the difference is really a way that search engines look at it. It can be the same identical words. You just need to have a system that lets you put that in. Again, if you're using WordPress, very easy to do that. If you are familiar with it, there's a plugin. It's called All-in-One SEO. And if I scroll down to right here, All-in-One SEO Pack, what you're gonna see is the place where I put in my title, I put in my short description, I put in my keywords, and right here I can type in any tags that I also want to have Google search my website for. So you put this information in, you load it into the system, and chances are probably pretty good that that's gonna really help your keyword searches, really help your SEO, your search engine optimization, which is important because that's the content that people read that builds your brand, builds impressions, and more importantly, you don't have to pay Google for. So if you take a look here on our website, if someone were to come here, and which by the way, with our company, this happens daily, Plumbers, air conditioning contractors are finding our website. They're looking for some type of search. By the way, I can show you our analytics. If we look at our audience, for the sake of example, in the last uh, month, we've had 903 visits. 656 of those are unique, are new visitations. So people are finding this content and when they go to your website, that's the opportunity to deliver valuable content and then let them book a service call with you or give you their name and their email like we have over here. And it's an opportunity to continue to deliver this high valuable content and occasionally offer a sales offer as well. So SEO is huge. You got to do it. It's one of the, the least costly investments of money. It is an investment in time. The better job you do here, the higher your website's going to be ranked and the more Google's going to like you and send you traffic that you don't have to pay for. So the flip side of that is to have a pay-per-click campaign, which is also extremely valuable. You still are going to utilize keyword searches because people are still going to be looking for keywords. Now the difference here is that you are going to bid out what you are willing to pay per click. Now this is what becomes really important and I see some vital mistakes made by plumbing, air conditioning, electrical companies when it comes to this, which is they'll bid out a bunch of keywords, and let's say for the sake of example that what we're looking for is water heater repair, and that's a good set of keywords for a plumber, right? We say we're willing to pay $2 per click, and then we do our AdWords search campaign. You're put in the section with three other advertisements, one, two, three, and there you are, your number one, fantastic. And I click on your site, and what it does is it takes me to your home page. It just takes me to your general page of your air conditioning or plumbing company, and there's nothing that's on there that was keyed into the keyword. And see, that's a critical mistake. So if you are paying for these keywords, and every time someone clicks on it, they clicked on it because they were clicking on, on water heater repair, the page that they need to go to needs to be a page that just talks about that. And it needs to have a strong call to action that says, now fill this out, now give us your name, now give us a call, fill this out for a coupon, and your conversion rate is gonna go way up. So if you're doing an advertisement for repairing your air conditioning system, if I click on that, it needs to take me to a page that's about repairing my air conditioning system. If it's about replacing my air conditioning system, when I click on that, it needs to take me to a landing page that's about replacing my air conditioning system, and it needs to have really extremely clear calls to action. Now go back to our website for the sake of example. I've got several free things here. The most important guide, the most important document in your business. Get your free success guide here. Free training evaluating through great questions. So imagine if you would that I, were, that I was advertising this although I'm not, this is completely search engine, but if I were, and this was in a Google landing page, if I click that, when it goes to that landing page, it should take me to something that is the same topic, right? So I'm clicking this, it says evaluate and learn how to sell more. Then I go to landing page, it says sell more through great questions, and then there's the call to action, and then there's the promise. You fill that out, submit, boom, 
you get exactly what you're looking for as a consumer, and you get exactly what you're looking for as a company. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Some of the differences between the two and some of the things that you need to be doing. One is you need to be optimizing for keywords, tags, and writing great content that people want to read. And two is that if you're going to do a pay-per-click campaign, which I strongly advise, it's an amazing way to get direct response quickly, and almost everyone is searching on their smartphones or computers looking for you today, then have good keywords, know that you're getting a good bid, and when you get a click, don't just throw that money away. Take it to a landing page that is specifically about what that person was looking for, then that's going to say you've reached the right place and you're going to get greater conversions. So, this is Todd Lyles, not talking about training, but talking about your business. And as always, here at Service Excellence Training, we are here to help you turn learning into earning.